Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. If you're new to my channel, my name is Justine, welcome. I am 40 something and I'm living on the west coast of Canada and I post videos a couple of times a week, um, fashion hauls, beauty hauls, skincare, I do a little bit of lifestyle, a little bit of travel, all that kind of stuff. So if that's something that would interest you, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell, and that way you'll stay tuned with all my latest videos. If you're one of my regular subscribers, welcome back, hello. Today I am gonna be showing you guys my empties for the month of June. I cannot believe how many empties I have right now, and I just did one of these a month ago. I'm also doing a sample use up challenge if you're not familiar with my my channel. I'll link below uh, what my New Year's resolution was and that was to use up some samples. I've got oodles and oodles and they are multiplying. <laughs> um, so I use up samples and I give you guys um, an update on that and what I've been using and what I've been enjoying and if it was even worth me mentioning. So I am going to show you guys my empties for this month. I actually really enjoy watching other people's empties because you know, you hear reviews and it's usually um, first impression kind of thing or maybe you've used it a couple times, but when you've gotten through a whole bottle of something or a whole container, you kind of have a good idea if it's a good product and based on whether that person's going to repurchase is kind of interesting to me because then you know it's a really good product. So this month I noticed that I ran out of a lot of expensive stuff. Isn't that always the way you run out of the most expensive things at the same time? So anyway, without further ado, let's get started. Um, I see a couple of these in here. These are my simple cleansing wipes. Uh, these ones are a different one. It was a limited edition, um, super soft and removes waterproof mascara. I didn't like these. I prefer the regular green ones. Um, I saw these at Winners, so I picked them up, but I actually just prefer the regular. Um, I mentioned before in some of my videos that I was trying to steer away from using cleansing wipes and trying to get into uh, cleansing balms and makeup removers, but I was having a lot of reactions with my skin. Um, same with using different samples on my skin. I was having a lot of breakouts and I still am, so I'm trying to go back to basics and using my regular tried and true products and just um, supplementing here and there a couple of samples. So I have been going back to my simple wipes and um, my skin is a lot happier for it. This is a Briogeo product. This actually is my husband's and I asked him to put it in here because I just think it is doing such a great job on his hair. Now a little bit of background, my husband isn't into products, he isn't into stuff. When I first met him he'd be happy using soap for his face, body and hair and everything and slowly but surely he's been trying a couple things here and there and he started having a scalp problem. So we tried all the drugstore stuff, the head and shoulders and all that and he wasn't having any luck. And I happened to have a sample of this Briogeo and he said, oh my God, it just felt amazing. My scalp felt great. So I started buying it for him and he loves it. So on his perspective, he loves that it. it's not giving him any scalp issues. Because I think what, um, this is what Briogeo um, is their main thing is that they help people with scalp issues. So from that perspective he is super super happy but for me looking at his hair it is so shiny and full and full of life so i think it's a really really nice product and i think when i start using up all <laughs> my keg of uh, uh, hair products i'm going to try this as well because it's, it's done wonders on his hair now speaking of hair products of mine um, I went through the Unite uh, Busta Shampoo and Conditioner. I love Unite products. They are fantastic and I believe they are cruelty free, which is also a bonus. I love this particular one. It smells like coconut. It's a really, really nice, pleasant scent. It does give my hair lots of volume. I would definitely repurchase um, Unite stuff. Definitely would repurchase this Busta line, but I just have so many hair products right now that I cannot buy anything right now. Uh, this is Cinema Secrets Makeup Brush Cleanser. It's like a blue clear liquid. It is 
amazing. So this is one of the things that I ran out of this month that's super expensive. So I haven't repurchased it because, just because I'm so cheap. <laughs> I wanted to buy it at the Sephora VIB sale and they were sold out, of course. And now it's back in stock, so I really need to buy some. It instantly cleans your brushes. I only use it for eye brushes because it soaks up a lot of the product. I tried it uh, with my skincare brushes and it sucked up way too, I went through this way too fast. So I only use eye brushes now and they are instantly dry to um, use makeup again. So highly, highly recommend that. This is from Lush. This is their Sleepy Body Lotion. I love this stuff. Um, I am also not supposed to be buying body products and I loved this so much that I've actually bought it twice during my challenge, I know, but I haven't bought another one. So I'm still getting through my body products but I will definitely buy this again. As for making it help you sleep, I didn't notice anything like that, but it is a beautiful body lotion to put on before bed. I usually shower before bed, and it's such a luxurious, um, beautiful body lotion in general, and then a, a gorgeous lavender vanilla scent. This is another expensive one. Um, this is the Saint Tropez Gradual Body Lotion. It's clear like a, a white body lotion that just sinks into your skin. There's no brown tint, which I don't like because then I get a lot of transfer on my clothes. This is just a normal body lotion. It is a fabulous body lotion. It, it's so moisturizing for your skin, but it gives you a subtle tint. As far as being enough to give you a tan, no. I use this in between my regular self tanning just to kind of maintain my skin. I use it in the summertime really only because um, just to maintain a tan. It just doesn't give you enough um, bronze in the winter months. So, and I don't need to maintain a tan there. I don't even use self tanner that much because why bother? I use it maybe on my chest and, and shoulders and arms, but I don't bother with the rest of my body. But it's a fabulous body lotion, but it is a little on the pricey side. I haven't repurchased it yet, um, just out of cheapness. <laughs> it's not because of the quality. I've gone through about 10 of these and I love it, but um, I haven't repurchased it yet, but I will. And this is actually a St. Tropez tanning mitt. This is what I use um, with my self-tanning mousse. I do that probably once a week in the summertime. Um, and that's what gives me my real bronzy color. And um, I apply it with this mitt. But my finger went through the ends and I stain your fingers and your nails. So I did already buy a new one of those. This is another expensive thing I ran out of. This is the Caudalie Elixir. And I've gone through quite a few bottles of these. It's really, really lovely. It looks beautiful on my um, counter in my bathroom. It's just a mist. You can use it to refresh your makeup, to hydrate during the day. When I personally use it is after I cleanse and tone, then I spray it before I put on my exfoliant. I haven't repurchased it because it's so expensive and I don't think I really need it. It's just kind of a luxury step. It's not um, integral to my beauty routine, I don't think. Um, I haven't really missed it. So I do have a rose one that I got from a beauty subscription box and I've been using that one for now. It's not as nice as that one, but I'm not buying that right now. This was from my um, Christmas uh, dry shampoo box, um, also part of my sample use up. This is from Amica. It's a dry shampoo and it's absolutely useless. <laughs> it's a really cute bottle and it smelled really nice, but it did absolutely nothing as far as dry shampoo. So I would definitely would not repurchase that. This is my Neostrata Acne um, Toner. I love this stuff, and yes, I will be buying another one. It's from the drugstore. I've been using this since I was 18, and it really, really helps me with my acne. I just use it as a toner every morning. I do have a sample right now, and it's a very large sample of a one from Wren, and it's a glycolic as well. So I'm gonna finish that, and then I will repurchase this one, because this is my favorite. This is a Laura Mercier body butter. I bought this at Christmas in a Christmas set. The smell is amazing. This is amber vanilla, and it's a lovely body lotion. And you're not gonna believe this, but when I went to Sephora a couple months ago and they came out with that body glow, one of the ladies in Sephora said, did you know that the uh, Bum Bum Cream, you know, the signature scent, 
It smells exactly the same as the Laura Mercier Amber Vanilla. And then I was like, oh my God, no wonder I like this so much. It is identical. Now, I would normally call that a dupe, but this is just as expensive. So it's kind of an either or. Maybe if you don't like the Bum Bum Cream because it comes in a, a pot, some people don't like that. I personally don't like digging my hands into body butters. And I believe the Bum Bum Cream has a bit of a subtle shimmer to it. So if you don't like that, um, but you love the scent, you will love this one because there's no scent, I mean, no shimmer and it's just a clear body lotion that you apply. So anyway, again, I wouldn't really call it a dupe because they're both expensive. These are cotton rounds that I got from Costco. They are dreadful. I would never buy them again. And I think that's it. Now I think I've finished them. They kind of have like such a sharp edge that I think you get a paper cut. It's that sharp. So I hate those things. Uh, this was a sample use up and this was from Barefoot Venus. It's a green tea body wash and it's called Gingerly. It smelled like gingerbread man. <laughs> it was really nice but I was using it about a month ago so it was kind of the timing was off. I wish I'd known it was a gingerbread smell and I would have used it around Christmas but it was a nice uh, body wash. I, I wouldn't buy it again. I don't know. Um, this is a Garnier uh, bronzer for the face. It's a spray that you use at night. I love this stuff. Um, somebody who lives in the UK put this in their monthly favorites and when we were traveling to South Africa we stopped off in London and I picked up about four of them because it is so fantastic. I have yet to see it in North America so I apologize to my North American friends. Um, I don't think you'll find it here but it is amazing and what I like about it, I know there's a million self tans out there but this one um, doesn't rub off with your retinols because every night I use either a retinol or retin-A so by morning if I use any other self tan product the tan was gone uh, because it just aggressively exfoliates. This one manages to leave me with a bit of a tan so I really really enjoy it and I use it probably every second night. This is a Beauty Blender cleanser. It's super tiny. It's one ounce. I think it's about $22. And I ended up buying another one from Atavo. And as you can see, the difference in size. And they're both the same to me. That's pretty much the same kind of product, same technique. It's like a soap um, bar inside. And you just clean your brushes or Beauty Blender with it. I need another one of these. I haven't repurchased it. I'm actually without any um, cleanser at the moment for my brushes. A subscriber actually mentioned to me that Wayne Goss had said to use baby shampoo and I seem to remember seeing that video as well. So I think I'm going to try that. Um, I think I did it before in the past and it didn't really work for me but I think I bought um, conditioning baby shampoo so maybe I just need to buy the original Johnson & Johnson baby shampoo and try that. So I think I'm going to try that next before I buy this. No, I'm so cheap. <laughs> but anyway, I can find, um, you know, more economical ways to do things. Why not? This is from Philosophy. These are the Clear Days Ahead um, pads. I don't even know if they have them anymore. I bought these from the Sephora Weekly Wows. I've noticed they don't do those anymore. Maybe they do in the States, but they don't here. And they were individual pads. I couldn't wait to finish these stupid things. I did not like them at all. They did nothing. I much prefer my Neostrata. I can feel tingling. I feel like it's actually doing something. These did nothing. So maybe if you find things like this a little too harsh, um, these might be uh, a better uh, way to go. And the reason why I bought these is because I thought it would be easier for travel if you have a moistened pad and I just put them in a Ziploc bag rather than taking a bottle of something would be um, less weight. So um, that's why I bought those, but I didn't particularly like them. So here's another expensive one. This is my Ola Henriksen Truth Serum. Love, love, love this stuff. It's orange. It's a vitamin C product. I use it every day and yes, I do. Well, I had quite a few backups, so I haven't actually purchased one lately, but I had a whole bunch because um, I've gotten them as point perks and all sorts of stuff. I have a bit of a collection going, um, but this was a full size that I did actually buy. I just love Ola Henriksen Truth Line. It just works so well for my oily skin. 
This was a um, nail polish remover. It's a Sephora brand. It's one of those dip ones and it was fabulous. I love um, dipping nail polish off and this one in particular, I don't know, it was okay. I always, um, if you look on the Sephora sale page, there's pretty much always a nail polish remover of some sort on their page. And I did replace um, this one with another one that was on that page, but it was Formula X. And I actually like it more because it has five holes. So you can put all five fingers in there and it's so much faster than the single. Anyway, I, I much prefer that one. So if you can find a dip, um, nail polish remover. Look for one with a five. It's great. A Garnier Micellar Cleanser. You guys know I'm back to my regular routine of taking makeup up with these first and then following up with a Micellar Cleanser. Love the Garnier one. I have used the um, Bioderma, I think it's called, and that's also really nice, but it's twice, three times the price. So I'm just happy with this one and I continue to repurchase that and I have it right now. Another expensive one. This is my Sunday Riley Luna Oil. Love it, love it, love it. I alternate um, this one night and then the next night I use my full intensive um, Retin-A products and I just love it. I haven't repurchased this yet but I, I plan to but what I did buy um, is the Ordinary the 5%. I did at Christmas buy the Ordinary 2% Retinol and if you didn't see my video I'll link that below. It was on the Ordinary and my feelings on it and I can give you a hint right now I did not like the 2% Retinol so I did send that back um, but I did notice they have a 5% and I purchased that and I just started it um, two nights ago so I can't really form an opinion just yet. So I'm going to try it out for about a week or two before I go ahead and buy this again because this is pretty pricey but I do love it. And this one is mixed with an oil so it's just all done in one shot and I love the Sunday Riley brand. This is my favorite, favorite um, eye cream duo that I use every night. This is a serum and then I use this as the cream on top. I've been using this for the last two years but two products every night is pretty expensive and these both of these products are very pricey. I haven't repurchased them yet. Um, I have so many eye cream samples so I am going through those right now and we'll see how that goes before I make a decision on what I'm going to rebuy. But I highly recommend these two. I used to get, um, I'm in my mid to late 40s now, and I'm starting to get crow's feet, which is fine. I don't mind normal signs of aging. I just don't like when they all pucker and sag underneath, and that's what happens with a lot of eye creams for me. And with these, I don't get that. So that's one of the main reasons why I really enjoy those. So we'll see. And also sticking with my hair care use up, this is the Bumble and Bumble Surf Cream Rinse Conditioner. I think this makes your hair really dry. All that surf line with the sea salt I don't think is the best for your hair. I bought it when all that stuff was the rage and then everyone's realizing how much it dries your hair out. So I'm just getting through it but I definitely wouldn't repurchase it. It just makes my hair super, super dry. This is from Aubergy. This is the um, exfoliant, so it's very similar to the product I used from um, Sunday Riley called Good Jean, so I just kind of alternate uh, because I did buy, I have a stock of this. Um, it's a exfoliant. I love it. I love the Aubergy line, um, but you get it from a dermatologist's office. I think there are some um, skincare companies online where you can order it. Um, this is the travel size, so I should keep it for travel, but um, I don't know how long these products last, so I just thought I better just use it up and finish it. And like I said, I alternate that one with my good jeans. Oh, I got I got through my um, Body Shop Chamomile Eye Makeup Remover. This is my favorite, favorite, favorite eye makeup remover, and I definitely will buy this. Um, I do have a couple of eye makeup removers on the go in sample sizes that I'm using up, and once I'm finished those, this is what I'm going to buy. Hands down, the best eye makeup remover I have ever used, and a great price point, and it's cruelty-free from Body Shop. I've got a sample of Sunday Riley um, Clarifying UFO Oil. 
wasn't impressed. I'm shocked because I do love the Sunday Riley line and I thought this would be fantastic. If you saw my Sephora haul from the um, VIB sale, I mentioned I bought a little kit for my stepdaughter who's going through acne troubles and it came with a UFO oil, a cleanser and a mask. And I said I would follow up with you guys. And she said out of all the products, the mask was the best for her. It's called the Martian Mask. You can't get it in Canada. Um, I happened to pick it up for her when we were in the States. Um, but I think you can get it on Amazon. And she said out of the whole collection that worked the best for her. And I have to say I tried the UFO oil because I've been having major breakouts in my mouth area. And I'm very perplexed <laughs> um, of what it is. And I used this and it... Did nothing so I'm looking for something else but I thought this might help me but it didn't and this was a very generous amount I think it was about two weeks this is one of my sugar lip balms I love these this is the color honey and as you can see I've just dug it right out of there um, these are great they also have SPF in them so if you're not really into lipstick but just want a little hint of color try one of these they have so many colors I think there's about 20 ranging from nudes to pinks to dark purples and reds just really really nice product I love fresh this is from my Clarisonic um, this is the one that came with it so this was the one for sensitive skin I have repurchased and I bought the one that's deep cleansing for acne prone skin so hopefully that'll help me um, I've been using Clarisonic for years and years and I love them a couple of mascaras to show you guys. I bought a kit at Christmas and I got a ton of them. So I'm slowly working my way through. This was the Tarte Tardiest. Did not like this. Um, it's called Lash Paint and that's technically what it is. Uh, it just made my lashes black. It didn't do any fullness, lengthening, nothing. So I wasn't impressed. This is a primer. It's from Lancome. It's the CIL Extra Large Booster. I really enjoyed this. Um, really nice wand. I thought maybe it was kind of a, a luxury that I didn't really need, so I didn't buy anything else and just did without, but I actually noticed there it does make a big difference. So I did buy a new primer, but I bought the Tarte one because that one is cruelty-free, and I find it's the same as this one, as well as the Dior. They're all the same, so I'd rather go for cruelty-free, and the Tarte one is the cheapest. This is Roller Lash from Benefit. I hated it. <laughs> Um, this came in my box at Christmas, so I don't want it. It's a curved brush. It did nothing for my lashes. No lengthening, no thickening, nothing. Did not like that at all. This was the Marc Jacobs. Um, my first impression was I loved it. It was lengthening. It was thickening. It ticked all the boxes, but it did transfer. Um, I thought it didn't, but it did. I have very hooded eyes and I do have long lashes, although today I'm wearing falsies, I'm practicing. <laughs> um, so when it touched my eyelid, especially on this eye, because this one's very hooded, I had a black line. So unfortunately it didn't really work for me. This is the YSL, the shock, loved it. Lengthening, thickening, and there was no transfer, it didn't melt on me, I loved it. Um, but my all-time favorite is It Cosmetics, so if I'm repurchasing mascara, that's the one I would definitely buy. It's cruelty-free, and it's a little bit cheaper than the YSL one. This was a sample of the Dior um, uh, primer, and again, like I mentioned, I bought the Tarte one instead. This is a perfume. I love this perfume. It's Roger and Galette, I think it is. And this one is the Fig, Fig, Fleur de Figure. I don't know what that means. I'm thinking it's a fig scent, but to me it smells like synthetic peaches and I love it. If you love all the Too Faced peach stuff, you will love this scent. Now, they have it at Sephora, but I think they're clearing them all out because they were on the sale page, and they're all sold out. They're still showing on there. Um, I did buy the body lotion and the shower gel. Um, I know I'm not supposed to buy those things, but it was on clearance and sale, and I know I love this scent, so I did buy that. I didn't repurchase the perfume because I have so many perfumes, and that's also part of my challenge is to get through those. But this I will definitely repurchase in the future because, like I said, it's just an amazing. I love sweet, fruity scents, so this ticks all the boxes. And I happened to buy this when we were in England, so it always reminds me of my trip there. I bought it at Marks and Spencer's. <laughs> 
And this is from Nux. It's um, Nux, Nux, and it is the Honey Rev de Miel um, Facial Cleansing and Makeup Removing Gel. It was okay, but the smell is just so intoxicating. It's just so gorgeous. I'm going to buy the body lotion of this when I use it. <laughs> My body lotions. The smell, I just love smells that have honey. I don't like the smell of real honey, and I don't like honey to eat, but fake honey smells, I love. I just love all body products and scents that have honey in them. I just love it. This was a Anastasia brow gel, and this was such a generous sample. This honestly lasted me probably six months. And I loved it so much that I went and bought the full size at the VIB sale. But can you believe it was horrible in the full size? It was dried up. And I've heard a few people say that. I don't know if it was about this, but I've heard so many people say when they received the sample, it was way better than the full size. And that was the case for this for me. I just did not like it. So I exchanged it for the Benefit one um, because I... I've used that one before and I've loved it and it was fabulous so I switched it for that but I don't know what it is but the full size was just a dud and I went in the store because I thought well maybe mine was just dried up and even their tester was dry so eh, no. This is a Kopari um, Lip Love and it's just a lip balm and I loved it. as soon as I got it I bought a second one so I actually have another one. Um, just because I loved it so much. It's like coconut oil. It's a gorgeous scent. It's really, really nice. Nice gloss. I like to use it at night before bed. It's a little bit pricey for a lip balm. Um, I don't know if I would say go rushing out to buy it, but I do have a lip allergy, so I have to be really careful with what lip products I use, and this one works for me, so if it works, use it. So like I mentioned, I did buy one a long time ago because I loved it so much. I just ran out and bought another one. And another lip balm that I've used up, I wear this to bed, is a Nivea one just from the drugstore. Really, really nice and very affordable, so I'd rather just get that. Uh, this was a hair mask. It's the Bumble and Bumble oil, and um, it's nice. It's a pre-conditioner, um, so you put it on your hair before you wash it. So I usually put it on before, uh, about an hour before, and do my thing, and then have a shower and wash it off. It's it's okay. My husband loves it. I actually bought him a full size of it. He loved it. <laughs> um, the rest in here is a little bit of samples. This was an Amica nourishing mask. It was okay. It was just a nice deep conditioner. I wouldn't rush out and buy it. And oh, last thing here. This is from Peter Thomas Ross. It's a potent C. It's a vitamin C serum. And I thought maybe I might like it more than this. No, I do not. And in fact, I have a feeling this was one of the things that was breaking me out. I don't know for sure, but I just decided to stop using it. And it's not a serum, it's actually a cream. So I didn't really like that either. I just love the consistency of this because it's almost like a gel. Just really, really like it. So anyway, that concludes this month's um, favorites. I'm not favorites. These are my um, empties. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed it and I hope um, some of these products might interest you or maybe you're interested in them and wanted to know um, more about them and hopefully that gives you a, a better indication of what I thought of them rather than just a monthly favorite of trying it once or twice. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed today's video and if you did, please click like and if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell and thank you so much for joining me today and I hope to see you all again soon. Bye!